Get ready for a uh, Microsoft Media Blitz starting on Tuesday. That's the day the new operating system for computers called Vista will be launched. The product is being praised and criticized as everything from a leap forward to a ripoff of other ideas. Well, I'm upgrading to Vista today, which cool. is great, but I get a little nervous when they mess around with my inside. Well, what do you mean? Is it just straightforward? Not really. Like a lot of PCs, I have to update my graphics card, my memory. If I want the premium package, I need a faster processor. It's major surgery. This Apple ad this speaks to a major back, criticism that Vista back, will require you spend a lot of money on hardware upgrades. PC, At this point, it's still it's it's a significant improvement over previous operating system upgrades. Though I think a lot of people are uh, preparing for it. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, I suspect. Trevor Gear fixes computers for a living. He says the new Vista looks a lot better. For example, this multiple page display technique lets you browse all the windows you have open and pick the one you want. He says it's part of making it easier to use your computer and to find files. Windows XP is getting a little long in the tooth. It's been out now for uh, about six and a half years, which is quite a long time in the, in, in, uh, the operating system field. Um, so they, they had a lot of catching up to do. And I, I think they've, they've made a very good shot at it for sure. Vista is what's called an operating system, the base program that runs everything on your computer. Microsoft, with a terrible track record on security, has upgraded security, altered the email system, and perhaps most importantly, put in place a media center. It allows a user to deal with photos, video, music, TV shows, movies, all reflecting a new age for digital media. Microsoft has been talking about Vista for 14 years. Bill Gates says it's what's needed for an always-on, always-plugged-in age. Because of the need for compatibility and working with partners, some of the security things we did, we didn't get those into the marketplace as quickly as we would have loved to do. But there's no shortage of critics on Vista. Media stories and online postings abound. The cost of upgrading your hardware, current items like printers may not work, unnecessary technical complexity that adds costs, features that push users to only deal with Microsoft suppliers. It makes some people hesitant, others see a chance to sell competing products. It's a very different operating system. It has the same name, but under the hood, it's very different, which really increases the opportunity for free, better, more stable opportunities, open source. It's not on my radar in that, in that sense. Uh, I know it's out there. Um, I know my copy can upgrade to Windows Vista. Uh, I'm not re yet ready to make that, uh, that switch personally. I don't think it'll be a, an evo revolution. It'll be an evolution. That's history in the making because it wasn't some big company that came out with it. It was some little guy in Ottawa. Dieter Donay Henderson is a longtime Mac user. Now with Vista training, he's managed to load Vista on his Mac computer. Apple and Microsoft say it'll be months before they'd plan to allow this sort of install. Dieter says it was a lot of aggravation and inspiration to get this to work, but now he has the best of both worlds. I have a working example of what happens when Vista is allowed to exploit real quality proper hardware. Um, the user experience in Vista is phenomenal. So at par, but still not good enough.